Good morning. My name is Ron Morris. This is Moving Forward TV, your local real estate and mortgage update. And I am Delyn Guest, and thanks so much for joining us this week. So over the last few weeks, we have gone over how to get an approval, the little, the key components that right. go into getting an approval for a mortgage. We've covered three areas. This is the fourth segment of that, right. the last one. The first three weeks we talked about, first one was documentation and income. Right. Second one was debts. And what, what counts and what, what doesn't, doesn't count, count in your debts. And last week was history in reference to resident and employment history. Right. Your life history for the last two years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this week, the last segment, we're going to talk about credit. Mm -hmm. The do's and the don'ts of do's credit, what to do, what not to do, <laughs> and what goes into a credit score and what doesn't go into a credit right. score. Okay, first thing we want to cover on credit is the score range. There is right. a numerical number placed on it. I'm sure everybody's aware everybody of that. that. And they're anywhere from a low of about 350. I've never seen a 350. No. Up to about 850. Never I've seen only an 850. seen a handful over 800, but never 850. Right. The lowest I've ever seen actually was recently. I just pulled one, and they were in the mid to high 400s. Which typically I I don't remember I when I've seen three, something in the four hundred. Something before. in the three hundreds one really? time, okay. and that was it. And that was a number of years ago. Yeah, primarily, you know what they do. Uh, and the scores change. Um, this All is the this time. is approximately. There's different. Um, there's like the the enhanced scores out there and things like that. But in general, general purposes only, scores go from about 350 to about, about 850. 50. There's no such thing as an 850. Basically, it starts <laughs> at 850 and it goes down from there. So there's they give you these things called reason codes on your credit report and the four top reason codes as to why your score came in where it did. Obviously, delinquent credit hits it the hardest. Right. And they're gonna, it's going to go down from there. So there's no such thing as an 850. No one is an 850. It has to go somewhere. That's just kind of a starting point, and it goes down from there. Some of the things. Now, credit scoring started in 1996 on mortgages. On other things like car loans and credit cards and things like that, they had that years ago. But on mortgages, it started in 1996. Right. And a quick story and about pr that. Prior to that, actually, before you get into your story, prior to that, I've been in the industry many years before. Forever. For forever. <laughs> it used to be, how many times have you been 30, right. 60, or 90 days late in the last 12 months, 24 months? And maybe they would, or they would address collection and judgments and those things at that time. And what would we do? All little, we had to do was an write a letter. letter. Yeah, you know, a little I letter, was late, um, which we still have to do. Absolutely. But, but, but a little that letter, and that was prior it. to credit scoring. Right. Now we have credit scoring, and, and your story is great. And credit scoring came in in 1996, and I remember this distinctly <laughs> because I, I will never forget. I was working at a company, and all of a sudden, this credit score came on the credit report, and I said to my underwriter, "What is that?" And she said, <laughs> "It's something new that they're just kind of starting." You know, car loan companies have done it for years and everything, and it's going to be, you know, something that's going to affect our, our underwriting in the future. So me being me, wanted to know more about <laughs> it. So I get on the phone. There's an 800 number there, and I call Fair Isaac and Company in California. FICO. Which is FICO. Stands for Fair Isaac and Company. That's where the whole thing started. They created the computer scoring model that we all live by today. Now, it has been tweaked a lot many, since many 1996. Times. Right. Um, but, but I got on the phone with them, and I was on the phone with them for a good 45 minutes, and finally, I mean, I asked all kinds of questions, and she was wonderful, answered everything. Finally, though, she said, no, Delyn, we're not going to tell you how it works, because as soon as people know how it works, they learn to manipulate the system. And she's right. Sadly, right. she's right. As soon as anybody knows how something works, they can figure out how to manipulate it. Now, I don't want to say that's what we do to a small extent, but... Well, to a small extent, we try rules. and tell people how to improve it. their credit right, right, right within the rules. So that's something. To and something else we'd like to mention as well in reference to credit or what items, and we kind of covered this a little bit before, what are on your credit report, what's not on your credit yes. report. And really, let's talk about what's not on your credit report. I think we all know what's on there. Right. But utilities. Right. None of your utilities, your car cell insurance. Cell phones, insurance, all of those items are not on your credit. And in Unless <laughs> it goes bad Unless and it goes, it goes to a collection bad. account, and guess like what? That. Then it's on your credit. Fast Prior to that, you're not really getting any benefit, any benefit for paying your car insurance, your, your cell phone, all those items on time. There's really no benefit. Or your rent. In, in reference to that, there was an article recently that uh, we'll be trying to incorporate some of that stuff into the credit report. It's down the road a ways. We'll see how that goes, and hopefully that will be something that will benefit the consumer as time goes on. Yes. Okay, some of the uh, credit score minimums, for the most part, all lenders out there are at a 640 these days. Right. 640 credit score or better. We do have a couple of, know of a couple of lenders who will go down to a 620. 
and even one or two that will go 600 that will go down to a 600 but for the most part there's going to be a lot of restrictions just bear right, in right. mind the lower the credit score there's a lot more restrictions that are going to be yeah and I wanted to emphasize that a lot I'm dealing with a couple clients right now that have the lower credit scores mm -hmm. those loans are just harder to get done there are more requirements or more restrictions in reference to debt to income ratio right. and reserves comes in reserves sometimes comes too in. if you're borderline a little over 600 even a 620 right. it's going to be harder to get that loan than if you're at a 640 or above. We're going to need a lot more compensating factors. We're going to need the, the loan really strong in other areas if they've got a low credit and score. And keep in mind too, the scores that we're mentioning are really pertaining to FHA a lot. Yes. Uh, on a conforming, mm -hmm. a Fannie Mae, a Freddie like Mac loan, you really want to be a 680, 700 to get the best rates out there. You need a 740. If you don't have a 740 credit score, or whatever these all these lenders are advertising that the low rate is, you need to have a 740 credit score. Right. And if you're buying, probably 20% down with that as well. So kind of keep that in mind. Yeah. We're really, most of our, our business, Good most point. of the business out there right now is FHA. So really want to be at around a 640 or better. Again, can do it a little bit lower than that, but it gets tougher at that point. Now, I mentioned a little while ago about the four reason codes that are attached right. to every single credit score as to why it came in where it did. Just a couple of little things to touch on that. Obviously, besides delinquency is always the first thing that hits on there. Even if you were late once, you know, a 30-day late payment, you know, time has a lot to do with it. So right, if you were right. late, you know, 24 months ago on your JCPenney's card, it's not going to affect you that much. But the if you were recent. late... Last a month, month or two ago, on your it's really going to tank your it's score. Really, it could possibly affect your score more than a bankruptcy from five years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, no question. So that's a biggie. Right. The other thing that we wanted to touch on is um, your credit card balances. Don't. Whatever you do, don't go closing <laughs> out every single credit card and Especially combining the them all ones. into right, one. Right. I know people who did that. They had like maybe 10, 20 credit cards. They combined them all into one. They got this $20,000 credit right. line. Well, what it looked like, unfortunately, it killed their score because what it looked like is they bought a brand new credit card for $20,000 and day one they maxed it out to the tippy tippy top. Right. And Not again, the, the difference on that spread, your available credit and your balance, that's a real important part of that equation yes. as well. The bigger your spread is between your balance and your available balance, right. the better. The more you, you, you tend to kind of max that out, Score it's going to go down. Score. Try so that's, and keep that's it an at, important part of that equation. Yeah, try as and well. keep your balance at 50% or, or less, less right. of your credit card uh, exactly. limit, and you should be okay. The other thing that we wanted to mention. Yeah, I want to get it to creditkarma.com. Yes. It's a website I think we'll probably show. A Hopefully that's flowing down there. Credit Karma, spelled with a K, is a great, easy way to check out your credit score. It's free. You go in there. It takes literally about three or four minutes. Again, it doesn't cost anything. It's going to give you a credit score. They also have a simulator in there, which is nice. You can go in and play with it and find out if you... If I pay this credit off, cards, right? Open or, up yeah. a new account. Any, it gives you a bunch of um, uh, choices down there. It will tell you how it's going to affect your credit score. Great little tool to play with for the first time, or if, for, for buyers out there, whether you're first time or not. Go into creditkarma.com. It's a great way to get a feel for, for what your credit score is. is. And then when you talk to the mortgage professional, you can let them know, hey, I've got a 685 credit score. Okay, great. You know, we would know exactly where to put you with that, that right. information. Very, very good information out there. And it's, for, and it's free. You know, and Ron just mentioned um, adding new credit. That's another thing. You know, the Credit Karma website can, can help you to see if that's going to affect things. That is something if you have had bad credit in the past, one of the biggest mistakes I wanted to mention that people make is when they've run into credit issues before and they've like you know had uh, late payments and things like that do not shy away from credit right, even right. if you've had a bankruptcy or something like that the number one thing that you must do is go out and reestablish credit it's right. fine underwriters understand bad things happen to good people it's okay that you've had credit issues in the pack past but if you don't go out and show the world, so to speak. Now you've, you know, yeah, right. taken that right. step. You've overcome the issues that you've overcome, and now you're starting a clean slate. Please open up new credit. Yeah. Please open. That, up. That's There's a, a very good of, thing, and a lot of people have yeah. that misconception out there. Correct. I've seen. I've had a customer just recently. Their score went from like I would say around 600 something to like a 650 just from opening up a new, a new credit card. So it really is a very important thing to remember. And if you've had some old, uh, we'll talk about credit cards for a moment. Credit cards that you've had good payment history on it and they're older ones, don't close that one out. No. The older ones are going to be more favorable as far as your credit score. Newer ones are going to yes. take a little bit of time. You need the new ones if you've had some, some uh, 
some stumbling blocks in the past, but if you're going to close a couple of those out, close out the new ones. Don't close right. out the old one. Even if it's like a gas card or something yeah, like whatever, that, whatever right. your oldest trade line is, keep it yeah, open. It's going to help. It's going to benefit keep it your open. score, so keep that in mind. Just real quick before we get into our movie challenge and our winner from last week, I just wanted to mention, you know, there is a free credit report in addition to the Credit Karma that just gives you a score, not your credit report. There is annualcreditreport.com that gives you your free credit report once a year. You're allowed to get it from all three bureaus with a score. Just so that you know, it's not freecreditreport.com. That's not free. <laughs> Go figure. It's <laughs> annualcreditreport.com. Make sure you do that once a year as well. That kind of wraps up our show. I want to thank our, we had a music challenge last week. Yes. Jason Ryan from Coldwell Bankers Coldwell was the Banker. first to get Red Hot Chili Peppers was the uh, music artist last week. This week we're going to flip back to the movie challenge and yes. here it is. Do not kill. Do not rape. Do not steal. These are principles which every man of every faith can embrace. These are not polite suggestions. All right, that's our show this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, email and us. blog us down below. Yes. E uh, email visit us our, the answer to the oh, yeah, movie challenge. First one on the movie challenge, of course, is going to win the gift card. Uh, visit yes. our sponsors, please, by all means, are the reason that we are out here. Absolutely. Blog us, tweet, Facebook, all right. that good all kind that of stuff, stuff that I'm really in tune to. Thanks uh, and, a lot for <laughs> Until watching. then, we are. Moving forward. See you next week. Bye-bye. Oh, oh. What's wrong with you? Uh, it's either this show or indigestion. I hope it's indigestion. Why? It'll get better in a little while. Mm.